This morning, we expect that a new Senate that's back to work will send the Every Student Succeeds Act to the President for his signature. This forward-looking replacement for a broken law would open new opportunities for our kids and put education back in the hands of those who understand their needs best, parents, teachers, states, and school boards. This bipartisan legislation would strengthen charter schools. This bipartisan legislation would prevent distant bureaucrats from imposing Common Core. This bipartisan legislation would substitute one-size-fits-all federal mandates for greater state and local flexibility. In short, it's conservative reform designed to help students succeed instead of helping Washington grow. It's a significant achievement for our country. But while we pat ourselves on the back for passing this legislation, we shouldn't forget that we could have done this a long time ago. It was not long after the bill passed that we knew it was full of flaws. And we tried valiantly to change it for a number of years. Why didn't we change it? Because there were Republican filibusters. We couldn't bring the bill to the floor. In fact, nearly every major bipartisan bill we've passed this year could become law in years past if Republicans had not blocked them, obstructed them, filibustered them. Are there any senators wishing to vote or change their vote? If not, the yeas are 85, the nays are 12, the conference report is adopted. Senator from Tennessee. Mr. President, today the United States Senate, by a vote of 85 to 12, has sent a Christmas present to uh, 50 million children across this country. First, it has to go down Pennsylvania Avenue to the White House, where we hope President Obama will wrap a big red bow around it, sign it, and send it to the children and the 3.4 million teachers who are looking forward to it.